to miss uh, one train and catch the other. Looks pretty cool. Not better than no train. They're bringing a big water tank through town and I got caught up in a couple of red lights. Uh, looks like we got uh, a couple DPUs pushing hard on the rear. Awesome. Let's see, can we get the drone out and get a little action of this guy taking off here? Whichever way that he's gonna go. He is going northbound, folks. Northbound and down. All right, well, it looks like the crew is probably gone. I couldn't see anybody in the cab. But I had the drone up. But, uh, I don't know, we got two reds. definitely have two red signals up there where this uh, side track goes back into the main. Of course, remember when we first pulled up, there was a uh, low gondola car, literally scrap wagons. We're, uh, we're going southbound. This one here is headed northbound towards Cincy. It's been sitting here a pretty good while now. I took the drone up the first time and forgot to turn the damn camera on. <laughs> uh, and I took it up again, so, but it wasn't going anywhere, so it didn't really matter. I know, I probably am awful close to being uh, trespassing, but not quite. So usually a lot of rail fans around here, but I haven't seen anybody today. Of course, I can't get on the other side of the tracks where I like to go. Because the sun, you know, setting from the west over there, shines on that other side of the train. Whereas this side, you're in the shadow. But it's blocked. I guess I could go up a block and go back over and see if we can get around it. But I thought by now he'd be gone, but he's obviously waiting on a crew. And all it is is a bunch of uh, TVA coal hoppers. Which they store a lot of them up on the uh, on the old uh, Copper Hill yard up there. The Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum runs their uh, excursion trains out of Etowah. They have a ton of them up there. And it's kind of weird that we've got, I mean, this is a long cut. I don't know how many there is in this, probably a hundred or so. Probably a DPU in the middle or on the end or something. I'm trying to back out of here carefully because of the grass is standing water. If we get over it now, we're probably going to have to get stuck. We really don't want. So we'll just kind of ease her on back and film the train in the shadow as we go. My luck, I'll get out on the main road, go up a block and get get stopped there by the train as he leaves but I don't see anybody in it the headlights aren't on or anything I mean I didn't want to get too close and get too nosy but uh, of course this camera has zoom on it it's a Mavic Pro zoom the drone so it looks like I'm right on top of something and I'm really not so I have to keep that in mind well, I'll see if I can get out of here without doing something really totally stupid. Like backing into the telephone pole over there. Probably not be a good thing. I see you, Mr. Telephone Pole. Alright. Yeah, this is usually where I come in and go on the other side of the track, right over there. Oh shit, I got a green. These red lights through through Rockwood. My God, they're five minutes long. It takes 30 minutes to go through town. Because every red light's on every block. And none of them are synchronized. You catch one, you catch them all. You know. Pretty well bad. There's no turn signals. 
that you can sit here five minutes. You could have made that three times. Should have known it was a politician running for office. It can never, ever be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing anything yet. Let's uh, take a left here and see, can't we uh, scoot on over here to the other side of the track? Maybe with a little luck we can. Get the Komatsu excavator out. This is an old town, old railroad town. Old, old railroad town. I don't know who's got the stop sign here, but I'm going to pretend like I don't. Yeah, that's a pretty long coal drag. They're all empties. And every car is TVA. TVA had one hell of a fleet of coal cars at one time. They well, still do, obviously. There's hundreds of them stored up there at the little Copper Hill uh, yard. Well, with war, I know they moved some out. Okay, this is a good spot right here if the Popo don't come and run you off. I thought it was railroad property because they got this rip track over here and then the railroad office and ties and all this stuff is right here, but a lot of tractor trailers park out here, so I've never been hassled. That don't mean I won't. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty long haul. Pretty long haul. We'll scoot on up here just a little more. That's a pretty good angle. I came over from Crossville. I'd been out at Lake Tansy filming. And I got by the interstate and I thought, man, let's just run over to Rockwood. Norfolk Southern there, they runs a lot of trains at night. A lot. And not so many during the day. I mean, there's some, but not compared to how many they run at night. But I thought, well, we'll go over and see if anything's happening. And I started to get into town, and here came a train right beside me going the same way I'm going into Rockwood, headed north, uh, southbound. And I finally caught up with it, and I pulled up beside that, that coal drag just sitting there, stopped. And when I first got out, I managed to get some video of it. But it was just about to go by. And, uh, so I thought, well, this guy gets get to green and he'd be headed on out of here. And, well, that wasn't the case. When the crew runs out of time, <laughs> that's the end of the road, pal. Do they get another crew in? Because I doubt they would park it right there blocking a, a main street like that. But you never know. That was the first thing I thought. Well, man, you know, they'd cut the train if they were doing that. Or just, you know, just pull up less not as close to that red signal up there but uh, I don't know what's going on down to my last battery on the drone or I'd uh, get up and get some good views of the uh, the escarpment of the Cumberland Plateau which looks like a big mountain to our right over here, but it's actually just the edge of the Cumberland Plateau is what it is. And, uh, it's really pretty. Rockwood's one of the... It, Rockwood reminds me a lot of Oakdale. Kind of an old railroad town that time forgot, you know. People are pretty nice. It's like any small town. You got a lot of chiefs and not too many Indians. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. 
it's kind of funny. They still got the double red up there, so. I don't know. He's been sitting there long enough. Now, I doubt there would be another southbound coming if they're holding him that long, but. Because Harriman's just, you know, 8, 10 miles up the road, north of here. Once you track through there, they could put another train over on. You never know with the railroad what's going on. I could come back Monday and this thing still be sitting here. Who knows? But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a little while. All right, I'll check back in in a minute. guys I thought uh, maybe we just uh, ride down here and <laughs> I'm probably willing to bet you money this is a railroad uh, road of some sort runs right along beside this rip track here but I've seen a lot of people down here before so you know if I get hauled off I just get hauled off I thought we'd buzz on down here because the track, you know, it, it takes a curve to the right up here. Down here past where you can see that big tree is hanging out. So we still got the double red back the other direction. I really don't know if that's an indication of something coming from uh, the north headed southbound or maybe just... Uh, stay red when it's there's no action I don't know 
have to ask Danny Harmon. <laughs> He's my hero. There's no doubt about that. The voice of Tampa Bay. Well, what do we got here? We have got a switching Rui and a half. Boy, look at the padlock on that friggin' thing. Holy shit. Wow. Well, I don't know if I need to go any farther. It's like we got a bunch of gravel and stuff down here. Rockwood Popo might uh, want to invite me to the, uh, the Rockwood uh, Grand uh, Hotel. Yeah, that is one heck of a switch padlock. Good grief. I don't know if you could cut that thing in half with a torch. Guess that uh, that got us anywhere. Well, either a train's coming or it's not. No, I was talking about those uh, uh, coal hauls down to uh, Stanton in Orlando. They, uh, I see them on the uh, virtual rail plan has two cameras on the uh, Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum museum, and it's right on the uh, double track main into Chattanooga. And if anything's coming northbound by there, it'll come by here. Same track. Well, I mean, there's a couple different directions it could go in Chattanooga, but usually it's it. Because this is the old, uh, well, I guess the rat line, technically, but not technically, technically. The rat line usually started up around Oakdale. Same track, 300 and something miles. City of uh, Cincinnati owns. It will not sell. <laughs> Ever non-negotiable but they lease it to Norfolk Southern with strict strict rules I mean this this track has to be maintained to class A A A A A standards any new improvement comes out it needs to be upgraded it's just crazy and then Norfolk Southern was like okay how much do you got what, what percentage of cut do y'all want I said we don't want any cut we want X amount of money per year for like 200 years or something. I mean, I'm not for sure on the time length. And uh, and that's what we want. And you are to maintain it, carry all insurance, all maintenance, all upkeep, all everything. Okay, deal. So that's been the way it's been for a long time. But it's funny. They will not sell it. And, you know, you think out of all the political administrations that go on in a, in a city... I mean, it's just a miracle. And this has been like this since, it's like, what, 1860s or 70s? It's just, it's unheard of. But Norfolk not, Southern, I mean, they get a sweet deal out of it. They get 100% of the revenue. And I mean, they they run the trains up and down these, this track. So, I mean, you know, I work at night a lot. I'm a, a commercial fence estimator. I work at home, so I mean, I, at night, you know, you can concentrate more. And I'll have the uh, TV uh, RM uh, Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, you know, uh, web links, uh, webcams on. And that's how I know how many go through there every night. And anymore, they're not just intermodal. Uh, it'll be an intermodal that's half intermodal and half mixed freight, and, or half tank cars and half intermodal. and it's anything they can couple on. you guys have seen enough of me driving backwards. I'll check back in here when some action breaks. Say it. Well, we got one coming through, boys. About damn time. If I could get the drone in the air, we'd be really good. Took an auto wreck. 
Oh, come on. The hell. Go. Well, it's going to be bye-bye by the time I get this thing in the air. Piece of shit. There we go. About damn time. Now we got the freight on the front end. <laughs> Intermodal all the rest of the way down, it looks like. DPU. How about that? Jawtooth would be pleased. <laughs> A lot of money rolling by. Holy moly.